Welcome back to our weekly update. I'm Charlotte McLeod with the Investing News Network, and this is your quick look at the stories we've been covering that you need to hear about. The gold price continued to sink this week, falling below the 1700 per ounce mark for the first time in 2021. Once again, the precious metals decline has been blamed on factors including a stronger US dollar and better US Treasury yields. 10-year Treasury yields have been increasing fairly steadily this year and rose above 1.5% this week. Treasury yields move inversely to Treasury prices, and prices for the government bonds took a hit on Thursday as U.S. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell said the central bank wants to see inflation sustainably above 2%. Inflation is damaging for bond prices because if market watchers think inflation is coming, bond yields will rise and prices will fall. Even though gold is typically viewed as a hedge against inflation, right now experts appear to agree that the metal isn't getting support from inflation concerns. Speaking to INN, Peter Grandich of Peter Grandich & Company said that while gold's correction has gone on longer than he expected, he believes it's coming close to an end. Overall, he thinks the yellow metal is still only about four or five innings into a nine-inning game with a downside risk of about $100 and an upside reward of $500 to $1,000. Sharing a few additional reasons the gold price is hurting right now, Peter said it's faced headwinds including profit-taking and Bitcoin enthusiasm. The cryptocurrency has of course enjoyed a major run over the last several months, reaching new all-time highs in February and attracting mainstream investor attention. As a final point, I want to take a moment to talk about the upcoming PDAC convention, which runs online from March 8th to 11th. PDAC is always a key event in the mining sector, and INN is looking forward to attending virtually this year. If you're attending, you'll be able to find our team's booth by going to the exhibits section and clicking on Media Partners. We'll be publishing four brand new video interviews during the event with resource industry favorites Rick Rule, Frank Holmes, E.B. Tucker, and Jeffrey Christian. You'll be able to find them on the PDAC platform, and if you're not attending, we'll have the videos right here on our YouTube channel as well. So make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to see them right away. That's all for this week. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss future updates and interviews. You can also follow us on social media or click below for our free report or any article mentioned in this video. See you next time.